All right, so really quickly in this lesson, we're gonna go over some of the stream options you have in YouTube Live. Very first, enable DVR. I highly recommend you click it to on. This is so people can come halfway through your stream and rewind it to the beginning so they can kind of catch up and they don't have to jump in right in the middle not knowing exactly what's going on. Make archive unlisted when complete. I highly suggest you leave this unticked or else your videos are gonna be deleted once you record them. If you know my teachings, you know I'm big on repurposing your content, so you never want to delete content or have it disappear into the ethos just because you didn't click a box or you clicked a box you shouldn't have. So leave that unticked. Stream optimizations. For interaction, that's for people who have a large chat audience who are talking on the right side, and I would not recommend clicking this. I would recommend clicking optimize for less viewer buffering. That means your stream is going to be clearer, less lagging. It's much more important than what's going on in the chat box, especially when you're just starting out. You're not going to have hundreds of people talking in your chat box, let's be honest. So uh, to get to that level, only the very small 1% of YouTubers who are live streaming can have that type of huge chat that you need to click on optimize for interaction. So just a fair warning there. Add a delay. This could be very important. I would highly suggest either setting up a delay in your OBS or in YouTube Live. If you're really confident in what you're doing and you don't think you're gonna make any mistakes or say anything stupid or click a link you shouldn't and have something pop up on the screen that shouldn't be popped up, there's lots of horror stories that have happened. Put on a 30 or 60 second delay just to be safe. Now with YouTube Live, you can only do 30 seconds or 60 seconds. But with OBS, you can do a custom second delay up to hundreds of minutes if you wanted to. So we'll talk about that a bit later when I show you the OBS settings. Add a delay, uh, sorry, advanced settings. We're going to get that into that into another video. So that's pretty much it for the general stream options. You could also change your thumbnail. Highly recommend you go to canva.com, make a custom thumbnail. It really attracts people. It'll increase your viewers and it's just a smart thing to do. So on to the next lesson, we're gonna talk about monetizing your live stream.